Hi, good morning everybody. It's Thursday again, yoga time. So please say hello as you're joining me. If you are interested, I just posted a link, but I'm not sure it's coming up. So I'm not seeing it on my page when I look at it, but I just posted a link or you can go on to Spotify and look it up um, if you want to listen to what I'm listening to today. So I'm going to be listening to, it's if you go to my Spotify, it's 12 March 2018, Anahata is the playlist that we're going to be listening to, and we're not going to start it yet, <clears throat> but just in a moment. Um, yeah, so Anahata. Hopefully I'm back on. Okay. Cut out there for a second. Who's here? I see Tina and Junko. Yeah, so if you want to listen to music along with me, um, 12 March 2018, Anahata Chakra. So that's the heart chakra we worked on, kind of opening through the chest on Tuesday. And then if you did Karina's class yesterday, she also did opening through the chest. And when I was doing it, I thought, meh, we might as well continue this <clears throat> kind of theme of opening up through the chest. Um, Krista, I see it here. So it's just sort of that, I mean, it's the heart chakra. So it's all about like love, love for yourself, love for other people. Um, just love in general kind of opening up to the idea of accepting the gifts of the universe, the love of the universe, love of other people, love from yourself, that kind of thing. So if you're listening to the playlist, it's all sort of love songs. Um, if you've been to class with me before, I'm sure we've used this playlist a million times because I really like it. Um, yeah, if you have a second to go grab yourself a tie, a strap, a belt, uh, it could be like a long towel, anything, we're just going to use it to sort of kind of open up through those shoulders. Um, and then we're going to do, we're going to work on wheel pose. If you saw my post yesterday about using wheel, um, using blocks to help yourself into wheel with the wall, and you are interested in doing that, grab a couple of thick books. Um, the Complete Works of Shakespeare is a good one because it's huge. Uh, my husband's currently reading Dune, or he just started. It's about the same size as this Shakespeare book, The Dictionary. I mean, there's so many you can choose from if you don't have any blocks. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and make our way onto our mat. I'm just going to move my hair out of my way. I got Frodo here today. He's going, he's going home after this. So just starting out for a moment, get yourself in a nice, comfortable seat. Palms facing up, take a moment, let your shoulders relax down. We'll just close our eyes. Take a long inhale in as you exhale, release everything out. And then again. One more time here. And then just start to lengthen in your breath. So sending those long, deep inhales from your chest all the way down into your um, diaphragm. So you're expanding out every direction, lifting, lengthening, getting as much air as you can in as you exhale. Pull everything in around those obliques. And then inhale, widening, expanding again. Exhale, pulling it in. Really try to get that chest to expand as much as you can. So if it feels good, you can kind of make uh, like a wave motion with your spine when you're here, and you can inhale, kind of open up, exhale, pull in, maybe let your shoulders relax down, and inhale, opening up again. So just take this a couple of times. I'm going to make sure my music is actually going to play through my headphone. As you're here, just finding tension in your body. Noticing anywhere that might be feeling a little bit extra tense, a little bit tight. Kind of taking your mind to those places, 
reminding yourself to love those parts of your body as you're moving through your practice today. We're going to be moving pretty fluid because I'm very sore from the last few days of my workouts. So we're going to be getting a lot of movement into the body. So just starting a little bit, like I said, inhaling, maybe lengthening up and exhaling, letting the shoulders relax down. Taking this a couple more times, deep, big inhale, full exhale. And then when you're ready, we're going to lengthen the arms up over the head, get as long and tall as you can, take your palms to press together, exhale them down to your heart center, press your hands into each other, press your thumbs into your chest, feel that inhale lifting them up, and then just bringing your gaze down to your fingertips and repeating the mantra in your mind, I am love. Breathing here a couple more times. And then on your next inhale, reach the arms up over your head again, lengthen as tall as you can as you exhale, fold forward. If you're gonna play music, you can start it now. When it feels good, walk your hands over to the left, right hand on top of your left palm, press your right hip back. And then press that left hand firmly into the ground. We're just gonna open up, reaching that right hand towards the ceiling. On your exhale, come back down and walk your hands over to the other side. Left hand on top of right. When it feels good, reach up with the left hand, opening, pressing into the right hand. And then we'll exhale back down. We're gonna move that a little bit faster. So moving over to the left and then opening up. Exhaling down, shift to the other side. Left arm up. Exhale down. Over to the left. Reaching up, come all the way back down, over to the right one last time, inhale to reach, exhale, close it down, walk your hands back out to the center, let your chin drop to your chest. When you're ready, walking your hands back. So if you're not comfortable sitting on your heels, you don't have to come here. If this feels good, go ahead and come onto your heels. And we're just gonna inhale, open the chest as much as you can. As you exhale, scoop those arms forward, arms down to the ground, your upper back is reaching. Inhale to open, exhale. Saying it each time you're here, maybe you can get a little bit bigger with the motion. One more time, opening up. Exhale, close it down. Maybe grab hold of the knees, reach your back towards the wall behind you or whatever's behind you. And then we're going to slowly come up, find your way all the way to standing, and come to the right side of your mat.
take a moment, spread your toes wide, pull your belly in, relax your shoulders back. We'll inhale, lengthen up. As you exhale, bend the knees, fall forward. And then roll all the way back up, reaching. Exhale, fold down. Roll it up, reaching. Exhale, fold. Rolling, reaching, folding. Move with your breath. Take this a few more times. Last time like this. Reaching all the way up again, palms together, take the hands back behind your head, squeeze your glutes, see if you can open your chest. And then reach all the way up, exhale down. Lengthen halfway up, exhale fold, planting your hands. We're gonna step back towards the plank, but then we're gonna come onto the knees, we're gonna take a cow pose, cat pose. Come back through neutral spine, hips to your heels, take a child's pose. And then we're gonna slide the hands back, come up onto the kneeling, reach to the ceiling. Exhale, fold back down. Come forward into kneeling plank, elbows pointing back, lower. Reach just the chest up. Exhale, lower. Find your way back, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Paddle the legs for a moment. Spread your fingers as wide as you can, pressing into them. And then looking forward, walk your feet to the top of the mat. We'll come halfway up, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Roll all the way up, reach to the ceiling, palms together, hands behind the head, squeeze, reaching your chest up. Reach all the way back up, take a long inhale. Exhale straight back down. Lengthening halfway up. Exhale, fold. Step yourself back, finding that all fours. Take your cow pose and your cat pose. Neutral spine, hips back to heels, find child's pose. Take a long breath here. When you're ready, sliding the hands back, come up to standing on the knees, reach the arms. Exhale, fold back down. Shift yourself forward to a kneeling plank, elbows lowering down, reach your chest. Coming back down, press yourself back into downward facing dog, pedal your legs out. When you're ready, looking forward, walk your feet to the top of the mat. We'll come halfway up, lengthen, exhale, fold, reach all the way up. Same thing one last time, palms together, hands behind the head, open the chest, reach yourself up, exhale all the way back down. Come halfway, lengthen, planting the hands, step your way back, find your way to all fours. Take that cow pose and cat pose. Come through neutral spine, hips to heels, child's pose. Slide the hands back, lengthen up, reaching. Exhale back down into your child's pose. Come forward through kneeling plank, lower down. Reach your chest and find your way back to downward facing. We're gonna hold there, pedal the legs. When you're ready for it, you're gonna walk your hands back toward your feet. Lengthen halfway up, reach your spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach all the way up, lengthening tall, palms together, hands back behind your head, reach your chest up. Inhaling up, sink all the way back down. Lengthen halfway, 
Folding down, we're going to come onto our toes, sink your hips down, reach your arms up, lengthening. As you exhale, if it feels okay, palms behind you, clasping. You can bring your fists into your low back, reaching your shoulders back, or you can lengthen your arms out. Ooh. Keep your belly pulled in, see if you can get those heels down. Maybe you can reach your arms away from you. You can keep your hands where they are if you'd like, or you can release them. We're going to send our hips up and our head down, finding a forward fold. On your inhale, come halfway up. You can keep your arms clasped if it feels good. Exhale, fold down, release the arms. Walk the hands out, find your way into a plank. Holding here, roll the shoulders back. See if you can reach your heart center forward. Bring your mind to that mantra to get you through this kind of difficult posture. I am love. Pressing into your hands, extending that heart chakra through your fingertips. When it feels good, shift yourself forward. Elbows hugging in, coming all the way down onto your belly. Fingertips are gonna come wide. Coming up onto cap, like cupcake hands, like you have a cupcake under your hands. Inhale, reach the chest. See if you can sink the lowest ribs down onto the ground. Take your gaze over your left shoulder. Come back through center, over the right shoulder. Come back through center. Lower yourself down. Palms right next to your shoulders. Tuck your toes if it feels good. We're going to press up through a kneeling plank and into downward facing. Pedal your legs. When it feels good, looking forward, walk your feet to the top of the mat. We'll come halfway up. Exhale, fold down. Bend your knees really deep, squeeze the glutes before you do anything else, and then lift your arms. We'll find chair pose. We're going to move through sun salutation B, but we're going to add a little bit onto it. So when you're ready, exhale, fold down. Come halfway up, lengthen your spine. Send your inner thighs towards the back of the room like you're trying to press your feet away from each other. Exhale, fold, planting your hands. Step your way back to plank. Shifting forward, take chaturanga if you like. Maybe you're ready for upward facing dog. Thighs are off the ground, just your hands and feet. Press through pointed planks, your belly is pulling up first, and then find downward facing. We're gonna reach the right leg high. Send your left heel down. And then looking forward, step your foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift the arms up over your head. Exhale, squeeze your hands together, reach your chest, and we're gonna bring it forward, finding humble warrior. Reach your arms away. So if you need to, you can have your knuckles into your back. You can just be holding on to opposite wrists. When it feels good, inhale, reach the chest. Arms coming all the way up. See if you can sink further into that front leg. Exhale, come all the way down, step to plank. Chaturanga if you'd like to. Upward dog or cobra. Find your way back to downward facing dog. Left leg will lift when you get there. Send that heel down. Step your foot all the way up, finding your way into warrior one. Squeeze that back hip forward if you can, lengthen up. Press into the heel of your front foot when it feels good, palms behind you, clasping. Open your chest up and we'll bring the shoulder down to the knee. Maybe your arms can reach away from you. Keep pressing into the heel of that front foot. Don't put the weight into the toes. When you're ready, reach yourself up, lifting your chest first, and then open the arms up towards the ceiling. On your exhale, hands down. Step through plank. Chaturanga if you feel like it. Up dog or cobra. Find your way back to downward facing dog. Pedal the legs. And then when you're ready, coming down onto the knees, 
Toes together, send your hips back, take a child's pose, sway side to side. I'm just gonna check, make sure that this isn't somebody saying you can't hear me. We're gonna inhale, coming up onto all fours. And we're gonna do this thing that Karina did yesterday that I really liked. So take your hands wide, like really wide. I'll turn to face you. So you have your hands nice and wide, fingertips pointing out to the sides, and we're just gonna to start to bend one arm, bringing one shoulder down, and shift to the other side. So just doing it gently, just finding the stretch. Don't get too crazy about it. One or two more times on each side. And then when you're ready, find your way back to center, tuck your toes back to downward facing dog. Walk your hands back to your feet. We'll come halfway up, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll all the way up, lengthen towards the ceiling, pull the belly in, hands to your heart center. Take a moment here, bring yourself back to that mantra. Ooh, it is warm in my house. Slow the breath down, repeating that mantra in your mind. I am love. And then take a moment, grab your strap or whatever it is you're using. We're going to take it back behind us. And you want it about hips distance. So if this is too close for you, you can bring it out a little bit further. But we're going to do kind of like we did before. We're going to start by pulling the strap like you're trying to rip it open. Open your chest up. Reach those arms away from you if you can. If it feels okay, pulse it back there. So if this feels okay here, and you want to take it a little bit more, you want to get your whole body involved, we're going to come forward, find our way into that crouch. You can bring your feet together if they're not already. Try to lift high on the toes, sit back on your heels, and keep that pulse happening. When you're ready, we're gonna bring those toes, or not the toes, we're gonna bring the knees down to the ground. We wanna keep our toes tucked under, so adjust if you need to. Holding this like golden thread pose, this is my least favorite thing ever. So I'm gonna focus on my mantra, I am love, and I'm gonna get my arms involved so that I'm not focusing on the soles of my feet. So arms are now out in front of you, you have them further out than your shoulders. Pull onto the strap, we're just gonna lift up. Come to where you can feel that stretch. Don't come all the way back behind you. If you can come all the way back, bring your hands closer together. We'll bring them back down. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, coming down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. We'll do one more here. Inhale it up. Ooh. Exhale it down. Remove, release that strap, put it to the side. Oh, and tuck your toes. Rotate through your ankles a few times. Maybe sitting back and pedaling out the knees. And then we're gonna walk our hands out, tuck the toes, find downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet. When you're ready, looking forward, walk your feet to the top of the mat. We'll come halfway up, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, fold down, bend your knees really deep. Sit your weight into your booty, lift the arms. 
Hold in here, belly pulled in. See if you can reach higher. On your exhale, fold down. We'll come halfway up, lengthen. Exhale to fold, planting the hands, step your way back to plank. We're gonna hold our plank. Find your wrists in the right of your shoulders, press into your fingertips, and then we're gonna shift forward a little and back. Pressing into the hands to sort of shift yourself back like you're trying to reach your heels back behind you. And then we'll come down onto the knees, take a cat and cow. Come back through center, hips back to heels, child's pose. When you're ready, inhale, reach all the way up. You can stay here if it feels good. Fists back behind your back. Roll the shoulders back. Press the hips forward, keeping the hips over the knees, just opening up towards camel pose. When you're ready, come back to center, hands down, child's pose. Shift your way forward, find your way to down dog, lift that right leg high. Bend your knees, see if you can stack your hips up. Staying just like this, but we're gonna slowly lower down onto that left knee. Bring your right foot behind you, open your chest up. So you're in a kneeling wild thing. Circle that arm around once or twice. And then close everything back up. Find your way back to three leg dog. And we'll step the foot up, finding a kneeling lunge. Back knee is down, top of the back foot's down. Squeeze everything forward. Reach the arms, lengthening here. If it feels good, take the palms back behind your head, leaning back just a little. Inhale the arms back up, take them down to the floor. We'll just shift forward and back through that half split a couple of times. Hopefully you're feeling very warm. And whilst you're here, if you can, grab hold of your straps so that you have it. We'll shift back one more time. And then find your way back into that kneeling lunge. I'm going to turn so you can see what I'm doing with my arms. Bring my Right arm back behind my head. My left arm is going to grab hold. So actually, I'll show you. My arm is going to hold wherever it feels good. Give it a little bit of space, though, so maybe a little bit lower towards your hips so you can pull that arm. And we're going to shift back and forth. So coming up and down. Keep squeezing the hips forward. Maybe even lean back a little bit so you can feel that stretch through your hip flexor through your ham, not your hamstring, your quad. When you're ready for it, we'll come back into center. Hands onto the front thigh or onto your hips, tuck your toes. We're gonna lift and lower. Two, Three, four, lift all the way up, turn your toes to the long edge of the mat, find your way into a forward fold. Let your arms dangle, grab one elbow with one hand and the other with the other. That doesn't make sense. Cro grab opposite elbows, rock side to side. Shake your head yes and no. When you're ready, come halfway up, lengthen your spine. We're gonna walk the hands towards the left side of the mat. Bring your strap over there so you have it. Step your way to plank, hold it. So just like on the other side, we're gonna shift forward and back. Come 
down onto the knees, take a cat and cow. Come back through center, hips back to heels, take a quick child's pose. When you're ready, inhale, come up to standing on the knees. You can tuck your toes under, you can just reach up here or fist to your low back, press the hips forward, shoulders rolling back, just your chest lifting towards the ceiling. You're not leaning those hips back. Squeeze your glutes. On your next inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale yourself back down, tuck your toes, find downward facing dog. Paddle your legs. Widen through those shoulders, press into both feet like you're trying to pull your feet away from each other so your whole body is engaged here. When you're ready, your left leg is gonna lift. Try to send your right heel down, keep the shoulders square, bend your knees, see if you can open your hips up, stacking. And then from here, we're gonna bring our right knee down, so shifting forward. Left foot down behind you, open up with that left hand, kneeling, wild thing. Pressing through that hand that's on the floor. On your exhale, take your hand back over, bring your right toes back down, left leg up, and we'll step it forward, finding that kneeling lunge. Inhaling the arms up over the head, palms together, see if you can open your chest up. Maybe leaning back into the hands a little. Try to get your elbows pointing straight towards the ceiling. Keep squeezing that back leg forward and the front leg back. I am love. Releasing any judgments you're having about yourself, your body, your practice, and just enjoying it. When it feels good, reach the arms above the head, hands to the floor, we'll shift forward and back a few times. Really stretch out through that hamstring. Try to keep your hips square under you, so don't let them stick out to the left as you come back. One more time here. And we'll come forward, grabbing hold of your strap, squeezing everything in, maybe coming a little bit out of that lunge. Grab hold, we're gonna do the same thing as before. So you're just pulling whatever arm is on top down and then swinging around to switch. Frodo's getting so comfy cozy on the couch. Try to move with your breath. Press into the top of that back foot if your knee is feeling sensitive here. One or two more here. And then we'll release that strap. Take your hand either onto your knee or onto your hips. We'll tuck the back toes, lift and lower. Two, three, four. Come all the way up, Ooh, open out to the side. Find your wide forward fold. This time, if it feels okay, you can bring your hands behind you again, clasping. Try to take your palms there together, press into both feet. Strong through the legs, strong through the core. The only thing that's really relaxed here is your head. When you're ready, release those hands down. We're gonna bend the knees a little bit, turning them out towards the corner and just start to make kind of a cat and cow shape. So you're pressing your chest forward and then lift it up towards the ceiling. Couple more.
And then when you're ready, coming back to the fold, we're gonna walk our hands over towards the right side of the mat. Step yourself into a plank, holding. So you can just hold here if you want, or if it feels good, we can kind of alternate between side planks. So right hand to center, shift yourself over, open up, bringing that top arm back, and then come to the other side. You can do this on your knees. You can take a child's pose right now instead of doing this. We'll take one more each way. Come back through center, spread your fingertips wide, shift your toes, hover on your lower and down, hover through chaturanga, and then we'll Come all the way down to the floor. Hands wide. Inhale the chest up. Exhale it down. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale down. One more. Exhale it down. Hands next to your shoulders. Press back, tuck your toes, find downward facing. Pedaling out the legs, pressing into both feet, like you're trying to pull them away from each other. Wide through your shoulders. When it feels good, we're gonna walk the feet to the top of the mat. Come halfway up, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees really deep, sweep your arms, find your way back into chair pose. You can hold here or you can come up and squeeze and come back down. Your arms can stay above your head or you can bring them down back behind you. And then you can stay with this with the legs or if you want, instead of coming up like this, you can hold your chair, shift forward to a crouch and come back into your chair. Make sure as you come back, you press the weight into your heels. Keep your belly and chest is reaching up. Maybe you want to reach the arms away and pulse them like we did earlier. We'll take one more. We're going to hold in our crouch. If you're not in a crouch, come down to it. If it feels good, otherwise just take a forward fold. Slow the breath. And then we'll try our, what? What do we try? Crow pose. So still working on our crow every class for the next forever. So when you're ready, if it feels good for you, we're going to take crow. If it doesn't feel good for you, you can take a child's pose, you can down dog, you can do push-ups, I don't know, do something that feels good. But we're going to take the hands down to the floor, lift the heels, or lift the knees up as high as you can into your armpits, shift your weight, press into your hands, maybe you can reach your feet up. Maybe just one foot comes up, maybe neither of them. Maybe you're just holding with the toes on the ground. When you're ready, coming down, you can shoot your way back if it feels good. Find your way back into plank, chaturanga. Lifting up cobra or upper facing dog. Find your way to downward facing. We're gonna reach our right leg high. Bend the knee, open the hips. Try to stack them, keep your shoulders pointing straight down. You can come onto your knee again like we did before, or if it feels good, start to bring that foot down behind you slowly and spiral your chest towards the ceiling. Squeeze your glutes. See if you can take that middle part of your chest and reach it towards whatever you're looking at. Get soft in that space between your shoulder blades. On your exhale, come back to center. Reach that leg high. Step it all the way up. We're going to find warrior two. <sighs> so sweaty. All right. Warrior two. Shift your way into it. 
Try to press that knee outward if you can. Squeeze this back leg, arms reaching. We'll take reverse, lengthen as far as you can, keep pulling your belly in, and then find your way into extended side angle, holding here. If it feels good, top arm to your low back. Open your chest. Maybe you can come around and grab your thigh. Maybe you have the bind. If you have the bind, you'll come down. Wrap that arm around you. Maybe you can grab your hand or just grab onto your leg. Maybe you just wanna bring your hand to the floor because your leg is on fire. When you're ready, we're gonna reach that top arm up. We're gonna take it down to the inside of that front foot. Take the back heel off the ground. Back knee down, fine lizard. So both hands are on the inside of your knee. Squeeze your glutes, reach your chest. Maybe it feels good to come to your forearms or onto a block. Make sure your knee and toes are pointing in the same direction. When it feels good, if you'd like, we'll shift our weight back. You can frame your front leg if you want. Find that half split. Maybe it feels good to sort of start to shift towards a full split. Seeing if maybe it's a little deeper than the last time you tried. Keep those legs engaged. You're pressing into both feet. Squeezing through your glutes. When you're ready, we'll slowly bring ourselves back into that lunge. I'm just going to turn so I can show you what I'm doing with my front leg. I'm going to frame this foot so now I'm just in a normal kneeling lunge. I'm going to heel toe my foot across. So right foot's coming across to the left hand and then bring the knee down. So we're finding pigeon pose. Bring the heel as close to your opposite hip as you need to. Adjust yourself. Get comfortable. Reach up through your chest. Maybe you can take the arms off the ground. So both hips should be square to the ground, square to the front. You're not over on your right hip. If it feels good, walk yourself forward, finding your pigeon pose. Slow your breath down. If you have a block and you like to, you can put it right underneath that heart chakra, so right in the middle of your chest. You're gonna press pressure into it. Bringing your mind back to that mantra, I am love. When it feels good, slowly start to come back up. So you can just stay here if it feels good. If you want the quad stretch, we'll bring that back foot in. Maybe you can bring it right into your elbow pit and bring your opposite arm around. So you're getting that stretch. Keep reaching your chest forward. Keep pulling your belly in. Squeeze your glutes. And when you're ready, whew, release it out. We're going to come to the outside of that right hip. Bring your left knee in. Bring your hand over to the left, reaching. On your next exhale, bring the hand down. We're just gonna windshield wiper the knees to the other side, plant your hands, step back to a plank, not a plank, step back to downward facing, I won't make you plank anymore. Spread the fingertips wide. We're gonna do the left leg now, so reach that leg really high, send your heel to the floor, bend your knee, see if you can stack your hips, keeping your shoulders square, so they're both pointing down towards the floor. 
and then just like we did before, if you need to come on your knee, you can. Otherwise, slowly come down with that foot and start to bring your chest towards the ceiling for Wild Thing. Squeeze in your glutes. Maybe you want to circle your arm around. And then we're going to bring ourselves back over. Send the leg all the way up. And we'll step the foot all the way forward, finding your way into Warrior Two. So pressing through that back foot, sink into the front leg, arms reaching. We'll take a reverse. And then come all the way forward, find your extended side angle. Top arm, if it feels good, bring it behind you, trying to open your chest. Maybe you can grab your opposite thigh. Maybe you can slide down and find that bind. Or again, hand can just come to the floor. Press into the heel of that front foot. And then we'll reach the top arm. Bring the hand down. Come off that back heel, finding your lizard lunge. So hands are on the inside of that front foot. Knee and toe of your right or your left leg are in line. See if you can press those hips forward. Keep squeezing. You're pressing into the legs, pressing into the heel. Maybe you can come to your forearms. When it feels good for you, we'll shift our weight back. You can frame that front foot if it feels good. And we'll see if we'll find a half split. Maybe we want to come forward, trying for our full split. Press into the heel of that front foot, squeeze the glute on the back foot. When you're ready, tucking your toes, shift your way back. Whew. Just like before, we're going to heel toe that foot over towards the right hand and then let the knee come down. Bring the heel back towards your opposite hip if you need to. We're going to find pigeon. So first, coming up, you should be able to come off your hands. Both hips have weight in them. Both are pointing forward. And then you can sink down. Just like before, you can put a block under your chest. Bring your mind back to that mantra. melting in here. Let that mid part, middle part of your upper back just sink towards the floor. When you're ready for it, come back up onto your hands. You can hold just here if you like. If it feels good, you can grab that foot, bring it in, getting the quad stretch. Maybe you can bring it into that mermaid pose. So bring your heel in, foot's in your elbow pit. Maybe your opposite arm can come around. Reach that upper chest forward, but try to pull your uh, pelvis forward as well so you're not really arching that low back. And then we'll go ahead and release. Come to the outside edge of that left leg. Bring your right knee over to your left foot. We'll come into that side bend. When it feels good, come back up. Ooh. Taking both soles of the feet on the ground, twin screen wiper both side to side. Maybe you want to turn your fingertips towards your hips and open your chest up while you're here. This is a good bicep stretch. Woo. And then 
then finding your way into seated. We're going to take a forward fold real fast before we move into our wheel or bridge, if you want to say bridge. So roll your shoulders back, hands on to your legs. Just slowly start to reach forward. Inhale, your chest long. Bend the elbows. Keep that length in your chest. If you need to, bend your knees. Try to get your belly and thighs so that they're nice and pressed together. Slowly start to walk yourself back, hands on the ground behind you, soles of the feet on the ground, open your chest up. You can stay like this or lift your chest. Again, stretching those biceps, stretching the fronts of the shoulders. And we'll slowly make our way down onto our backs. So you have so many options here. We're going to take wheel pose, but you don't have to. So if you want to just take bridge pose, you can. So bridge pose where you keep your shoulders on the ground and just lift your hips. If you want um, to take supportive bridge, you can stick a block of books and pillows, whatever, underneath your back, holding here. Or if it feels good and you want to try that wheel pose, we'll come into it. So if you're using your blocks and your wall, make your way over there. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, I posted the video that I have from my YouTube on the page last night so that you could see. So if you need to just go back, take bridge now and then go back and watch that and try it out um, after we're finished. Otherwise, hands are gonna come, palms right next to your ears, fingertips pointing towards your shoulders, squeeze your elbows towards each other. You could even just start here if this is enough for you. If it's hard to bring your elbows in towards each other, you can just stay here working on this, and then take a bridge pose. If it feels good and you know you're ready to at least try for your wheel, either on the wall with your blocks or on the floor, we're gonna press into, if you wanna watch first, you can. We're gonna press into the feet and into the hands. You can come with the top of your head on the floor and adjust your arms first, and then press your arms up, straightening them out, or you can just press all the way up. Whenever you get to wherever you are, see if you can press your chest forward. We're trying to get the shoulders over the wrists. Squeeze your belly, squeeze your glutes. Pressing the floor away from you with the hands. Take a couple of breaths here. If you want to come out of it and come into it a second time, you can. Or again, you can just take bridge pose. When it feels good, you can come down onto the top of your head and roll down, or you can just tuck your chin into your chest. Oh, make your way down onto your shoulders. We'll bring the arms out to a T. Keep the soles of the feet on the ground to start. We're gonna take the left leg, cross it over the right, if that feels okay for you, and let the knees drop over to the right. Try to keep your left leg reaching back. your mind back to that mantra. I am love. Trying to melt that chest open, softening through the upper back. When you're ready, slowly come to center. Unwind the legs. And we'll switch over to the other side. So crossing the right leg over the left, let the knees drop. Try to keep your right shoulder on the floor, maybe looking over it, adjusting as you need to.
when you're ready for it, slowly come back to center. We're just going to take the soles of the feet onto the ground, keeping everything on your body on the ground except the mid-back. We're just going to reach up towards the ceiling, almost like you're taking a cow pose, and then exhale, press it back down. So the hips are staying down, so we're not taking a bridge. We're just kind of rocking on the back of that sacrum a couple of times. And then taking your hands right onto your thighs. Press that low body away from your upper body, creating some traction through your spine. And then take a long, deep inhale in. As you exhale, release. You can let your legs extend long, palms facing up wherever you are. Start with three long, deep inhales, full exhales. After this third exhale, let your breath relax back to its natural state. If you have music playing, you can go ahead and let it be off. Just melt into the floor for your Shavasana. Maybe repeating that mantra in your mind or just focusing on the breath entering and exiting, your chest rising and falling. When you show love to yourself, you let your inner light shine out from within you. And begin to bring some small movements back into your body. Maybe reaching the arms up over the head, the legs long, taking a full deep breath in. As you exhale, just bend one knee at a time, slowly roll off onto one side, take a moment there. Blinking your eyes open. And then you can slowly press your way back up by any seated position that's comfortable for you. Let your shoulders roll back, your palms facing up. Just take a moment here receiving. And then we'll reach our arms up, gathering all the positive energy we've created. Lift yourself as long and tall as you can. Bring your palms to touch. Bring them back to your heart center, your mind back to that mantra, I am love. And then I challenge you to bring that off of your mat into your day. Show an act of love or gratitude to yourself or to another person. And I thank you so much for joining me. If you are following my YouTube page, um, or if you're not yet, please go subscribe. There's a new class this weekend. It's yoga for when you're hungover. So if you have had a long week or if you plan to celebrate this weekend, 
Um, it's bank holiday, not that it really matters since most of us aren't really doing anything, but if you need a little bit of a pick me up with a hangover this weekend, um, that'll be available for you. If you aren't hungover, it feels really good too. So it'll be there on Saturday morning and I'll see you all next week. Bye.